everyone, and welcome to today's video where I'll be talking about and sharing my thoughts on Yena's latest single album, Love War, which released on January 16th of 2023. Choi Yena, former member of the project group Eyes One, has been carving out her own path as a soloist for a year now under her label Yuaihua Entertainment. This release is of note, however, because it stands in stark contrast to her previous two releases, Smiley and Smartphone, which have a decidedly more upbeat and bright sound. There's also a single album which is shorter in comparison but very poignant and it drives further home the point that the character she is portraying is deeply hurt and is sharing her strong feelings, like any person would when their relationship is failing or is falling apart. <laughs> We start things off with the intro track titled Intro Love Is Over. It's interesting to note that the title of the track uses a semicolon between intro and love is over, implying that the two ideas are closely related, such as saying that this is the beginning of the end and a love war is coming. It's your standard intro track that blends elements of the title track into it and gives you a taste of what is next to come, which is another interesting point going into the next track. We're not presented with the title track immediately after the intro, which is commonplace in most albums that do have an intro. This unique approach lends itself to the storytelling and sends a message to us, the listener, that the war hasn't happened yet, it's what comes next. That to me is very well done because I assume, like most other people who have listened to her album, probably listened to the title track Love War first. What this does is recontextualize the story that we know from Love War and the music video provides us with a look at why the war is happening. All we knew up to this point was that there is a war going on between Yena and her lover, being Bio in the context of the song. This is brilliant to me because it gave me even more reason to go back and listen to the tracks together, look up the lyrics, and experience the story in its entirety, which gave me that much more appreciation for the album as a whole. The track is solid as well, standing somewhere between a Louis Capaldi slash Ed Sheeran kind of sound, but mixed with the delicate vocals of Yena that bring a gentleness and sort of innocence to the whole thing. Oh Here's the title track in all its glory, because we had a taste of it in the intro and didn't get to it until after the second track, Wash Away, there's a sense of tension and dread that built up leading towards it. We are witnesses to this love war as she calls it, and no one is getting out alive. I would even say that this is Yenna's War of the Roses, albeit less humorous, but it is just as brilliant. As I said before, this is probably the first track many of us listened to from the album, then went back and listened to the whole album, but it stands wholly on its own. From the first listen, I was immediately hooked with the tonal shift from Smiley and Smartphone, but I was also impressed by how naturally Yena fit into the role of the disenchanted lover. She's done playing games and she's out for blood. The visuals are very dark, gritty, and employs the use of a lot of reds and blacks. The vocals are delivered with a smoothness that underlines the deep-rooted contempt she harbors towards her lover. Before we reach the climax of the song, though, there's a shred of hope that things don't have to end the way we all know how it'll end, shown to us in the opening of the song. But it's a self-fulfilling prophecy and there's no going back. Her lover tries to fight back, pleading his case and shifting the blame from himself, trying to lead her to believe that there's nothing wrong and that it's all in her head. Even in the delivery of B.O.'s lines, there's a very defensive undertone that tries to push back against her feelings. The song and the visuals tie together so well thematically that you can't help but feel the tension between the two leads that make it feel so palpable. All in all, this is an amazing album and I loved it from start to finish. Yena does have writing credits for Wash Away and Love War, with B.O. having writing credits on Love War, and it's very commendable. I love it when artists get to express themselves through the writing of their songs, and Yena does a great job at expressing this complex range of emotions that many of us may have experienced in some way without it feeling too contrived or vague that we can't properly connect with the main character of this story. Music has always been something that we can take at face value and enjoy, when the artist takes the effort to dig deeper and provide us with a story that we can truly connect with on some level, it transforms into something much more, and that's where I think the true magic lies with music. So what did you think? Have you listened to Love War yet? Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the video and the song as well. Also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!